This podcast is brought to you by Enlightening Learners Academic Coaching and Tutoring Services. In this presentation, we will learn how to determine whether a system of equations has one solution, no solution, or an infinite number of solutions. Some questions that you'll have to answer. What are the characteristics of a system of linear equations that have only one solution? What are the characteristics of a system of linear equations that have no solution? And finally, what are the characteristics of a system of linear equations that have an infinite number of solutions? In the following equation, we're given two problems that are in slope-intercept form, y equals 2x plus 2 and y equals negative 3x plus 6. Because they're in slope-intercept form, we plot the 2 on the y line and then go down 2 to the right 1, which is the slope. So with the green line, we, go, we start at positive 2, we go down 2 to the right 1, and we keep repeating that pattern. Then we graph that line. And finally, we do the same thing with the second equation, y equals negative 3x plus 6. We plot our first point at positive 6 on the y line and go down 3 to the right 1. And we keep repeating that pattern until these lines intersect. Notice that it only crosses at one point. Now, the characteristics that we were discussing earlier, they have different slopes, and this is key. If the slopes are different, they're going to cross at some point. Sometimes lines never cross. These are considered parallel lines. Notice that for this blue line, it's in slope-intercept form, y equals negative 3x plus 6. And we have the green line. It also has a negative 3x. A negative 3 is a slope. These lines will never cross. These lines are considered parallel. And you notice that it, with parallel lines, the slope is the same number. Now, we don't know with this equation. However, if we do some manipulation and get it in slope-intercept form, we find that the slopes are indeed the same. And again, slope is a negative 3. When we have a, an infinite number of solutions, that's our equation in slope-intercept form. We want to try to get the equations in slope-intercept form or the same format, because you'll notice that if they're an infinite number of solutions, they're going to manipulate out to be the same equation. They're identical. Once we've put this in slope-intercept form, we see that both lines are the same line. An infinite number of solutions means that one line is laid on top of another. At any given point, 
the equations are equal. So just a quick review. When we have only one solution, slopes are different. When we have no slope, when we have parallel lines, there is no solution. That's because the slopes are identical and these lines never cross.